Welcome back everybody to my channel. I'm Aurora B and today we're going to be doing another draw some in my, my handy dandy sketchbook. And today's prompt is typewriters. So we're gonna flip over to our clean page. And oh goodness, I got some uh, stuff here. I'm gonna be using my, my normal pencil, a kneaded eraser. This is a graphite aquarelle, which is basically, it's a graphite pencil that you can, you know, blend out with water. A Uniball Eye Pen in black, it's a fine tip. Ugh, see, it's very fine. And just a little six inch ruler. So, oh, and we're gonna have to have a, a water pen too. So we'll, we'll grab that out too. So let's get with this. So, some of you may be going, well, what's a typewriter? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a long sordid history behind typewriters. And they were used anywhere from 18, I think it was 68. That's when they were really, they you know, were founded, they were made, started, invented. And progressed from there to well now we have keyboarding class in high schools because now we have computers. We don't really use typewriters as much anymore. So having said that, it is basically a keyboard where the, once you punch the keys, a, uh, like a key comes up and smacks against a piece of paper and in between is a ribbon that is full of ink. That's how that works. So, we're going to draw one, and this is an antique typewriter, so it is a little different than what everybody's probably used to seeing, but that's okay. This will work just fine. My, uh, I learned how to, to type in typing class on one of these. I'll put a picture up here. This is what the first typewriter I started on looked like. And then because my father owned a typewriter company, he got me one of these, <laughs> which was nice. It was a lot better than pounding those keys. That was a pain in the butt there very hard on the fingers the old-fashioned kind the electric ones have motors and all that in them and uh they're a lot nicer a lot easier on the on the hands but you know it took me a little bit to get the the electric one This part up here is where the paper comes out or goes in either way. It actually comes down and around a roller. <laughs> Every summer we'd have to, uh, the whole family, me, my mom, my sister, my dad, we'd go to all the area high schools where I grew up. And uh, my father was in charge of cleaning all the high school typewriters and fixing them and making them good for the next school year because like I said this was back in <laughs> it was a while ago <laughs> but we had a good time We'd take you know sandwiches and, and chips and kool-aid with us and make a picnic out of it. I learned a lot about how to uh, work on typewriters, which was to my, <laughs> to my detriment later, because when I got into high school, if my father didn't have time to fix one of the typewriters at my high school, He'd send the part with me and I'd fix it for him. 
So the typing, even though I didn't take typing in the high school I went to, I actually took it in middle school. Um, I got to be very friendly with the, ty the typing teachers, which was kind of fun because I got to get out of class to go fix something. That was kind of cool. Some of these parts, I definitely know what they what they do, what they go to, all that kind of good stuff. The engineering that goes into these things is quite detailed. It really is. It can be very involved. My father worked for IBM for about 13 years. And then he started his own com company. Because um, he, he just, you know, he, he was doing really well. He had a lot of, cut you know, like, a lot of customers and clientele. So he did really well. He did real well. I just hope I do this justice. I may go ahead and speed this up because I still have a ways to go. But I'm just sketching out what it is I see in the picture. And this one is a uh, Remington. I think we might actually have one of these out in the garage. But uh, I know we have a royal out there, I think. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll see you at the end.
Remington typewriter. I think this came out pretty darn good. Oh, what do you use this? 24. Week 24. Typewriter. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. It was quite detailed. Um, there's a lot that goes into them. So you have to uh, <laughs> include everything. <laughs> so I hope you did enjoy this. I had a good time and I want to wish all the fathers out there a happy Father's Day this coming Sunday. And yeah, and all the moms who have to act like dads too. So 
until my next video. Don't forget to go check out Jen's video and see what she did. I wonder if she's going to do it in digital. That'll be interesting. I'd like to see that. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this and go see Jen. And I will see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.